All right, today we're going to attempt to decode some images off the International Space Station uh, via the slow scan TV, I guess protocol, or mode, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, over the last couple of days, I've been using this uh, little FM satellite rig, uh, and it's worked out really well, and I've been using it with that handheld beam, but today I want to try out the 9700 with this Omni here. I don't know how well the... Uh, an Omni will work, but uh, we got about a 24 degree pass coming over this direction. I don't know, it's probably another 20 minutes, but uh, till it gets here. But the setup is, I got the 9700 out here. The only reason this is out here is because I'm I'm stealing the power off of here, off the battery. It's the only battery I have. And I'm using that accessory uh, connector again, and I'm using that uh, that port we talked about, and I'm pulling audio out of out of the port. Uh, unsquelched you know audio that's steady uh, you know not not controlled by the volume up here it's a steady output and then I'm feeding that through the through the through the cable into a external USB card CM108 base uh, card and that's going to be into the phone and we'll be using uh, I think it's I can't remember the name of the program but uh, a decoder program a free program you can download so that's the setup. We'll see how well it works. Uh, this thing I set up and did pretty much the same thing. The only thing I don't the, the only thing I don't like about this compared to the 9700. This is where the 9700 shines in this respect. Unfortunately, the output on the uh, accessory connector back here follows the volume control here, so they're not two independent uh, uh, outputs. In other words, the the rear isn't independent from the front. So this controls the volume of the speaker and this at the same time so it's kind of annoying whereas this one over here it's got the volume up here controlling this speaker but the accessory connector is totally independent so you can go in the menus and set that at a steady you know wherever you need wherever you need the level to be and it'll maintain that and there's also a way of uh, squelching and unsquelching uh, the accessory port audio also and of course I've got it uh, I got the squelch open. So uh, that's the setup. Uh, again, just a uh, this is the diamond discount that I bought at a I don't know swap fest or something like that. But uh, we'll see how well it works. It like I said, it worked really good on this one over here. Uh, this will be the first pass on this radio, and it'll be the first pass with this with this Omni. So I'll get back on here whenever the pass starts. All right, we're ready to go here. The first pass just ended, so the other one should be coming up here real quick. There's where we are. We're very early in the pass, so we should get some good decodes off of this. Let me go ahead and get set up here. We're going to have to put our mode on PD120. And it should start here in a few minutes. Or one minute. Got the sound card plugged in. We're on 145-800. Got the preamp on. Uh, the filters on the widest setting. We should get the tones any second now. And again, this volume is independent of that one, so it doesn't matter. It's not affecting the, the decode at all. It shouldn't. There it goes. I think I should have reset it, but you can see it's coming across real nicely. Really good, actually. And again, this is not for everybody. It's more about the. It's more about the journey rather than the destination. I mean, <laughs> sending a picture. I mean, with Starlink and DirecTV and everything else, it's not really anything out of this world. But uh, it's still pretty cool. How it works. I mean, it really does a good decode on this. Sure. I 
think this one might get chopped off because I didn't start it right at the beginning, but we'll see. Maybe it compensates for that, I don't know. Uh-oh, I hear it fading. See, it faded a little bit. Still pretty good. And this is a Russian deal here. I guess they're some kind of Russian or Russian themed deal they got going on here. I'm not exactly sure what it's all about. Not too bad. This is one of those things you just you do to say you did it. No, it wasn't too bad. I'm not exactly sure how you save them. Oh, I saved it. Okay. Well. All right, we'll give it another two minutes and uh, we'll see if we can get portions of the last one. This is the second one. I doubt we'll get all this one on here, but uh, who knows? I decided to go ahead and do it. And again, this cable, even though it's labeled 9600, it's, uh, it's not discriminator audio. It's just regular audio coming out of there. I'm still picking it up pretty good. Ninety seven hundred, I like it. It's a good radio. Dang it, I hit the wrong button. But, uh, yeah, I made a little line, but, uh, it's a good radio. It's just, uh, if you're not doing satellites for sure, and if you're not doing heavy, uh, sideband work, VHF, UHF sideband work, man, I'd look for something else. If you just want to do FM satellites, just get a regular, some regular set of radios and do it. I mean, you'll save a lot of money. And to be honest, when working FM satellites, I'd rather use that to be honest. That's much more convenient, you know, it's just rather than dragging this thing out. Of course, for sideband, you don't have a choice. For linear satellites, you got to have this basically or, or one like it. But uh, I would never buy something like this if I was just going to, you know, rag chew on the local repeater. I just wouldn't do it. There's no way. Yeah, uh, we faded out. Yep. Yep, she's gone. Oh, well.